Well, hello, my friends. This is going to be interesting to you. You know, you know, I've been jawing on and on and on about I get ethanol free gas at the co-op here in Red Deer. Well, I just went there. This is the first time I broadcast since December, and there's a little green sticker on the on the uh, pump now saying may contain ethanol. So we're going to find out right now. This is my little container, right? You fill the water up to that line, and then you add your gas to that line. And if there's 10% ethanol in the fuel, it jumps up to the 10% line. Right. Let me see if I can get you there. Right there. So let's do it. Let's put a little water in here. And you can tell right away, man. Okay, we are there. Yes. Now we fill it with gas. I'm just going to use the uh, the uh, vent on my tank if I can. Oh man! There we go. We'll just fill that up with fuel if we can. I'll wipe it up. Don't worry. Probably still spill less this way than any other way. Okay. And we'll put the lid on that. And we'll put this vent back on here. It's, it's filled past the vent is what's going on. Good, let's get a rag. Hands first. Tank next. Hey, a little bit of gas to clean my bench, and let's mix this up. I'll just let it sit for a minute. Yeah, it's got 10% ethanol in it. Here, I'll straighten the camera out. Sorry, Stella. And look at that. The line is now there. We'll let it sit for a bit and we'll come back. I'm very sad. 10% ethanol in the co-op fuel in Red Deer now, guys, if you live in Red Deer. So it's no different than anybody else. And I bought, I bought four jugs of these today with the assumption that they had no ethanol. So we're going to maybe have to start using Stabil again. So this has, been, this has been sitting for a few minutes and we are still at 10% ethanol. The same test with the old fuel. And this has been in a different jug sealed for the entire winter. If it's sealed, it'll last, right? So now let's just put a little tiny bit of gas in there. Okay, here we are. We're going to mix it up. This is from this is my old fuel. We'll just let that sit for a minute. Here's the old gas I had from before. 10%. Do you guys see that? Right? No, 0%. The 10% line is not reached. Okay, so there it's now sat for a half an hour. So let's level you guys out. Are you guys on the level? So there's no ethanol in my old gas and there is in the new. Well, this one's for you, Hank. I don't uh, use the big five gallon jugs anymore. I just find that these little two and a half gallon to one and a half gallons uh, work better for my body. There you go. Thanks, bud. Hello, my friends. Bruce here. Well, I've got three stickers here that were sent in December, but I didn't get a chance to get at them until now because I was gone for three months. So, let's just have a look. 
Uh, let's do this one first. This is from Don at Random Wrenching. He has sent me two real nice stickers and two business cards. His daughter made them for him. It says on this letter. And uh, if he if he upgrades them, he'll send me some upgrade ones too. So thanks, Don, from Random Wrenching. Great channel. He does things properly. He uh, he's a heck of a nice guy, and he's got a nice little shop there. So thanks a lot, Don. I'll put them up in just a bit. Number two. Rob's small engines. You should see his channel. Go to his channel and you'll see this eyeball as the introduction. It's quite great. Okay, and he just says, hope you're having a great Christmas. That's how old this is. Really enjoying your vigs, your channel, and true inspiration. Many of the, uh, to many of the YouTube people, God bless from Rob. So that's pretty sweet. He's got his picture on there. And one more. Big John. John Clem. A. Pretty funky old school type envelope. Big John Small Engines. Bruce, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your YouTube channel. Well, John, thanks for allowing me to be part of your YouTube channel. John's always there. If you need him, he's there. In more ways than one, he's a very, very fine guy. All of these guys are just perfect gentlemen. So, John's small engines. Rob's small engine for all your repairs and random wrenching. So, I'm just going to put them up now. I have cleaned this little area over here. And we're going to start with Rob. We'll put them up beside Mick and Dave Kernut. I wiped this area down. We're starting to fill in the blanks here, you guys. There goes Rob. Random wrenching goes in between here. I'll put them up beside Eliminator Performance. They're both in Ontario. That's all the information I'm going to get out on these guys. Thanks, Don. And Grampy. Now let's put yeah, let's put you beside Grampy. He's a good Canadian, too. And Big John's small engines. I might have to start sticking some of these stickers on my uh, road box. Ooh, this is... I think these things are made out of some kind of trick vinyl. Here we go. We're almost there. Big John. Why can't I peel that? There we go. We did her. Just took a little time. So where are we going to put Big John? I think right there? Yeah, why not, eh? There you guys go. We're getting quite a plethora of talented people up there. So, for once, uh, for all of you guys, go to these channels. I'll hopefully try and put their links in the, in the comments of the video. I'll take these three stickers in the house to remind me when I upload this. So, thanks, guys. Always appreciate it. wonder how long it'll take to completely cover this thing and then splatter grease all over it. Which is, you know, I don't think any of you guys would mind if I splattered grease on you. Thanks very much.